We're going to talk to the manager of the New York Yankees, Aaron Boone. His team will begin the 2019 season on Thursday at 1 o'clock against the Orioles at Yankee Stadium. Aaron, it's Michael, Don, and Peter. How you doing? I'm doing well. How you doing, guys? Doing great. So how do you feel about your team as the season begins? Uh, really good. Um, you know, obviously dealing with some, some injuries to some key guys, um, but we think we're the good news on them, we feel like we're probably going to avoid some long-term situations. Um, but we also feel like, uh, you know, we have the roster to, to be able to cover those things up uh, on the short term and feel like the guys that are uh, ready to go for opening day are, are really in a good place. have had a, had, had a good spring by and large. I feel like the workload they've had has been good sprinkled with the proper rest so i feel like by and large our guys in a r really good place as we get ready for thursday you better than you were last year i think we are i mean look i, I was sitting here last year thinking we we're really good and, and obviously we were um but i do feel like we're um, a deeper club and you know even with some of the injuries significant guys we're talking about being down right now i still feel like we're we're in a really good place and able to mm. cover that maybe more so than than we were this time last year now when you say you're better does that mean you'll win more games in the regular season than you did last year or that you might be in a better position to make a run in the playoffs i don't i mean you, you look, you never know how it's going to shake out win total wise. There's there's so many things that go into that, to, um, <clears throat> but I think we have a chance to be a little bit better of a club. I think we're a little bit more versatile. I think we're potentially a little bit more more deep. Um, you know, I, I think our pitching has a chance to be hopefully even a little bit better with some of the additions we've made. So um, whether that means more wins, less minutes. Mi uh, being able to go deeper in the postseason, win a championship, I mean, now that, you know, that's that's what we're setting out to do. But we got a long way between now and then to, to get to that point. But I, I feel really strong about who we have uh, uh, going in starting Thursday. 267 home runs last year by the team. That's a record in Major League Baseball. Both Judge and Stanton told me individually they think the team will shatter that record. Do you have that same feeling? Um, I, I think we'll hit a lot of home runs, um, you know, but, I, I, you know, we want to, we want to shatter that win total in, in right. the month of October. That's, that's our ultimate goal. And we want to, you know, we want to hoist the championship. That's what we're playing for. And whether that means we hit a ton more homers or slightly less, whatever it may be, we, we our power is, is, mm -hmm. um, a big thing and, what that number ends up being, we'll see. Now, I know you and Michael have got into the whole too many home runs sometimes hurt you in the postseason thing. I mean, because history does show that if you hit a lot of home runs in the regular season or were too reliant on it, that it could hurt you in the playoffs. But with everybody trying to hit home runs, Aaron, I guess th there's a new way of thinking, right? Well, uh, no, I, I just sometimes I... I I get this is the, it's one of those issues that riles me up a little <laughs> bit. It's you know why don't you just get hits with runners and like that's a skill too. That, that's you, we're trying to be the most complete, best offensive club we can be. Um, but you know, but you know it's not an easy thing to uh, to be the best offensive club you know you got to be pretty well rounded i think we have a chance to be there i think some of the additions we've made plus some of the improvements i think guys are continuing to make as all around hitters will allow us to be that but you know sometimes getting a big hit in a situation off a tough pitcher isn't necessarily a choice as it is you got to be really good uh with the home runs Obviously come a lot of home uh, strikeouts, and Aaron Judge kind of adjusted two strikes this year. He's not going to stride as much. Um, do you think a team could strike out too much? Does that concern you about your team? Because there's not much negative about this team as far as I could tell. The strikeouts concern me a little bit, but I guess, I guess that's the price of doing business now. Well, there's no question there's a value in being able to put, put the ball in play, and, and that that is a, a really good thing. I think we have the ability to improve on – you know, who we were last year. You mentioned Judge. You know, I think Aaron's one of those guys that went into this winter having a healthy off season as opposed to last year when he had the 
the shoulder issue and he was rehabbing his shoulder after surgery. This year he was able to go tinker with some things and work on some things. And then he brings it into spring training and, and is able to apply it and, and get results. So, um, you know, he's one of the guys that, you know, we're, that looks like he's made adjustments. Hopefully that allow him to become an even more well-rounded, better player. And, and I feel like a lot of our players uh, – have made some strides in that area. Do you see yourself having to use an opener this year? Are you comfortable with that? Uh, yeah, I think it's possible. Uh, I'm not even necessarily likely, but I, you know, it could be really possible here early, especially with, you know, with CC and Sevy down to start the year. Um, you know, depending on how our pen usage is in the days leading up. Um, you know, you could see it here very early in the season, but. Um, We'll just kind of have to see how it unfolds, but it's certainly a possibility. After I left Tampa, you announced that, you know, Herman would get a start and Sessa would be in the bullpen. Sessa had a great, great spring training. Why did you go that route? Um, well, we feel really good about all three, um, Sessa, Herman, and Loisega, for that matter. Um, we feel like Sessa can really be do a, a dominant guy in the role we envision him in kind of as that long man picking the right lanes for him within a lineup for multiple innings out of the pen on a given day uh, there could be a situation though where he pops in and gets a start or or works in an opener kind of situation um you know but being out of options um, you know, it's hard to keep him built up as a starter, especially as we move forward. When we get fully healthy and we have all our guys back, it's going to be hard to keep him built up. Where with Herman and Luizaga, um, probably a little easier to, to keep them built up um, over the long haul. Now, you don't have to get specific, Aaron, but I just wonder, when you look back at 2018, Mm -hmm. Do you say to yourself now with that year of experience and look at specific situations and go, you know what, now I know better. I would have done that differently now that I'm a little bit more experienced. No, I don't, I don't necessarily look back on it because every single day of this job has been a reflection and evaluation and take, take stock of, of what's gone on. So I, I just feel like it's been this living thing that's never, never stopped. You know, the, the off season came and, and I kind of dove right into, you know, being a part of our, our off season and, and, you know, planning for spring training in the regular season and being a part of, you know, some of the moves we, we make in the winter time and, and just, so the job never stopped. Um, so I don't know if I, you know, had a day where I sit and reflect on things because we kind of do that good and bad every single day uh, during the season. Tyler Wade was not happy when you told him he didn't make the team after the acquisition of, of Tauschman from the, uh, the Rockies. Uh, there's part of me that thinks, you know, I don't mind a player reacting like that. W what did you think? Yeah, that's how I feel, yeah. I mean, this is, look, Tyler Wade is a um, really highly thought of player by us um, in our organization. He's worked really hard to to become an even more versatile player. He worked really hard on, on his offense. He came in ready to go. He came in and had a really good spring. And the reality was um, was probably a few days ago set to make our club. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I, I want a player to be a little ticked off or frustrated. Um, but now it's, it's you got to be able to focus that, <clears throat> that frustration in, in the right way and go out and handle – handle your business because we still think he's going to play a, a, an important role for us this year at some point and and hopefully in, in what is the championship season he's going to be a part of that so he needs to keep his focus and continue to work on his game and um you know there's there's a scenario where even as we get healthier you can envision him on the roster uh, in a lot of different ways. All right, so with Hicks out at the beginning of the season with the bad back, is your outfield most of the time Stanton, Gardner, and Judge? Yes. In that order, okay. And then yeah, your then DH Thompson. will either be Void or Bird? Uh, yeah, it'll probably be in there. Yeah, it could be Void and Bird. Um, you know, if, if you want to get Talkman in there uh, a day, or, you know, obviously we'll spell Guardy a little bit, but, you know, if we wanted to spell one 
Judge or Stanton or give them a DH day. Talkman, we feel good about being able to play all three and, and being a guy that, that also has some upside uh, offensively. All right, now, since it didn't happen that you had to choose between Bird and, and Voight because of the injury to Hicks, why don't you just tell us who was going to be the starting first baseman? Here we go. Do it. <laughs> two, three, two, one, go. Um, well, just stay tuned. Stay oh. tuned. I've actually been... It's it's one of the things I've been doing a lot today. Is kind of um, you know, especially when 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 uh, when the Orioles switch from Cobb to to Kashner, you know, it changes things in my mind a little bit. But trying to kind of in my head and even on paper a little bit, kind of laying out the first several days of our season, how I envision it, when I envision giving a guy a rest, and um, I would say. Early on here, they're they're both going to play a lot. Now, How about that? Uh, that that's fine, and I know that you, I knew that you wouldn't tell me which one would have made it. But did one of them separate themselves from the other? Because they both had really good springs. Right. No, I would say <clears throat> the way I put it is, we're looking at two impact first base. We're looking at two of the top half in the league first basemen. That's that's what I'm watching right now. I'm watching. You know, we saw what Luke Voigt was able to do um, in the second half of the season last year, and he's come in and looked every bit of that player, the guy that just c controls the strike zone, power all fields, the ability to drive the ball the other way, which is so big in our yard. I feel like it's made improvements on the defensive side of the ball. He's worked really hard in that area over the winter. But the first time I watched Greg Bird take batting practice before camp even started over at Hines, two swings in, I was – like right away, this is a different guy, and he looked like he's looked like that guy every single day in spring training. Um, there's just a different way he's impacting the ball. Um, you know, he's he's added weight, I believe, in a good way. He's significantly bigger than he was last year, um, and and clearly um, beyond some of the you know physical things that were limiting him a little bit last year. Um, he's in a great place, and I feel I feel great about both guys. What's a realistic expectation for Brett Gardner? That he's going to be a really good player for us. Um, you know, hopefully, you know, we'll um, give him his days off here and there. Um, but we're expecting a really good player. And, and even though, you know, some of his numbers fell off a little bit last year, um, you know, I think some of the underlying things suggest that it wasn't that far off from where he was the year before. The home runs were a little bit down, but the way he was impacting the ball um, night in and night out were similar. You know, I feel like with some of the injuries we had last year, we probably had to lean on him a little more than we would have liked. So he, there probably was some, some wear down a little bit late in the year, and hopefully this is a year that we can – we can protect him a little bit more, give him his days off, because we think he's going to be a really good player for us on both sides of the ball. Aaron Boone, the Yankee manager, is our guest. I was a little concerned, Aaron, in one of the last games that I did down in spring training that the velocity wasn't there for Chapman. You thought it was because he, he had been used for two innings a couple of days before. Is there any concern that he's, he's okay? No, I feel I feel like he's he's good. He threw yesterday in a minor league game and was basically 95-96. Um, and I think he's a guy that at this point in spring, I think, you know, you, you get into the, to the, to the big, big league games with the third deck and it's go time. And I think that adds a couple miles an hour. Now, now I think it's, are, are we going to see the 103, 104 miles an hour, uh, a role as Chapman? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not, but do I think he's healthy and, you know, he's going to be, a dominant reliever for us, yes. Uh, before we let you go, obviously this is a very, very good team. Hal Starmer was on yesterday, thinks it's better than last year. You think it's better than last year? For what it's worth, I think it's better than last year. But what's your biggest concern? What do you fear most with this season, other than injuries? Um, well, I, I just think, first and foremost, guys that we have injured right now, you know, those are really important players for us and impact players for us. So it's important that we do get them back uh, at some point, um, you know, because, you know, especially when you look at our rotation right now uh, with Seve and, and CC starting on the, on the injured list, excuse me, um, you know, we'll, <clears throat> we're a little thinner. 
there, obviously. So, you know, we can't afford to have a bunch of guys go down in that in that regard. But um, I feel I feel great about where our guys are at, and uh, I feel like their frame of mind is really good. I feel like it's a hungry group with with their intentions in the right place, and um, we're excited to go out and show the world that. You must be pretty excited about sitting next to me during the welcome home dinner tomorrow, right? Yes, I am. It's, uh, <laughs> oh, my God. Circled. Are, are we right next to each other? Uh, we were last year, so I, I requested it again. I, I'm sure you did. I, I, I understand the part of, of the... Lots of condiments out on that table. No yeah. ointment. No ointment. Yep. I understand yep. that you've got to get along with the players. It does not extend to the announcers, Aaron. We, we, before he became manager, <laughs> we got along, Don. Yeah, but uh, I, I've known you for 20 years. I wouldn't describe myself as excited to sit next to you wow. during a luncheon. Wow. Well, Aaron, it's, it's your I'm, dinner, I'm, by the way. I'm excited. <laughs> I am genuinely excited. Well, See? That's, that's an issue. No, because you're a good guy. I think guy. that's a problem. No, he's a good human being, Don, unlike you. <laughs> the only thing that worries me about is that maybe Aaron's social life isn't great. Mm. That's right. the only thing. He's got a little too much social life. Sprinkle, he's working too hard. Yeah, you're working That's way too hard. hard. That's right. I will see you tomorrow, Aaron. Thank you. All right. Take care, guys.